Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, the next part of this series. Um, you can tell that this is starting to look like a turbine now. Um, this part right here, how I mounted this, it may be different on yours. So um, don't get so hung up on the way that I did it because I've taken apart three different ceiling fans before and they all have different parts. So. Uh, you can always figure something out um, on how to get these hooked up or attached. Basically all I did was just took this other little extension here that I showed you earlier and use JB Weld on the inside of that and I put this bolt through this part and I put a tightening screw on it there that kind of digs into the metal and uh, same thing on this, ex on this extension here. I uh, just slid the black iron pipe inside of that JB weld and uh, a tightening screw there um, the one part that I didn't show you is hooking up the wires so what I did the strand of wire that's coming from the ceiling fan here I drilled a hole right here like I mentioned and ran two more uh, pieces of wire up here before I attached this part of it uh, just so that it's easier to fish out if you put it in the hole and then slide it back this way you can pull it out and I soldered those two together um, this to the green and this one to the yellow and just folded them up and kind of pushed them into the shaft there and uh, then it went together nicely uh, so you have two pieces of wire here and you can uh, just get some regular ex exterior wire with a with shielding on it and attach those you can put a wire nut on them or if you want to solder those you can too um, but anyway this is on pretty good it's not it's not moving the least little bit so um, managed to get the face plate on I had a uh, let's see there's two two bolts one there and one there and it's not going to come apart I assure you it's a tight fit so um, don't worry about that at all I have not siliconed it yet that's gonna be the next step I figured I would wait for it to warm up a little bit it's a little chilly out tonight so it may not uh, set up as, as well but um I did put some uh, JB weld on the joints you might be able to see a little bit of it there if it'll focus um, okay it's not gonna focus well anyway trust me it's there um, put some on that joint that joint on the other side and then there on those two uh, connections so and there's the tailpiece um, and I actually have the uh, furl down here I painted one side I have to paint the other and then <clears throat> when I get ready to mount the thing I'll just slide it over that arm so uh, that kind of gets me to a point where I just need to silicone some of these extra holes up here and these little vents here you don't want water getting in there corroding, corroding any wires or interior parts so uh, I want to fill this hole up here too and uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to like use some you can use some oil some type of grease to uh, lubricate the bearings on both sides just so that you get the best uh, spin motion out of it that way um, <clears throat> let me see if there's anything else I think that is uh, pretty much it I just have to put a coat of paint on this and uh, finish painting that part like I mentioned and I, I'm thinking about painting this part black here as well just so it all matches and then the blades will be white uh, other than that it's uh it's pretty re pretty much ready to go i just need to go get some extra wire like i said to run down you know to maybe do a 30 or 40 uh foot run to where i'm going to have it hooked up to the battery so i wanted to show you another interesting uh thing here i have a um i have a cfl bulb here in a lamp and uh, keep in mind this tape requires 120 
input. This is not going to put out, but maybe 70, 80 max. And I don't even think I could spin it that fast with my hand to get that to get that amount. Not with the blades on it because they create a little bit of drag. But uh, anyway, I'm going to turn out the lights here, and I'm going to let you see that thing light up partially. So I'll come back here in a second when I get the lights off. Okay, I'm going to flip the lights out, and I'll let you see. Uh, maybe you can see a little bit of lighting up here. <clears throat> see that it lit about the first ring of it up all right so maybe that give you an idea so that's really all we have uh left to do is just paint it silicone it uh and then it'll be ready to mount we can put it up on the uh on the mast over at uh, my parents house and take it for a test run they have pretty decent wind over at their house so um we can see how it uh how it does um, hook it up to a battery maybe and do some charging so uh, if you have any questions or anything I know this has kind of been a condensed series um, I didn't go into a ton of detail but hopefully I've gone into enough to at least get you started and pointed in the right direction so uh, if you have any questions feel free to post a comment or uh, send me an email or something uh, check us out on Facebook too we're on there all the time so uh, that's it for now I appreciate you watching thanks Thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe to get updates directly in your inbox.